Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. It's time, everybody. It is time. Let me not fall out of my window. That would be a tragedy. Let's. Uh, it, it's time. We're gonna go into our first, our first vault. We're gonna do it today. We're gonna go into our very first vault. Um, but the thing is, uh, I was editing these videos here. This, this wonderful video that you're watching right now, and I realized that I did the pick thing wrong. I, I didn't do it right, everybody. And I noticed, so we're gonna go do it right. Look, check this out. I did this, I picked efficiency, and then I just took it out again, and it didn't take effect. So you need to click it and then click the enchant button before you do it. Um, and you need emeralds for that to happen. So let's grab some emeralds and let's do this properly this time. Bada boom, bada boom. Now we've done it. Now it's got efficiency five. So now it's gonna mine things super Hello? Hello? First person to leave a name as a comment in the comment section. Uh, that name will be this guy's name. If you want to name this ogre man, this 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 golem, drop a comment. Leave a name below. First one. First one is the name I'm going with. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, what else do we need to go into a vault? We've got our shard pouch that we made last time as well. We've got our shulker box for storing things. We need, we need a bit more food, I think. And we've got to get rid of all of our crap. We also need to build a vault portal because we need we need to be able to go into the vault itself. So that's going to be important. What kind of food do we want to take with us? We don't really have much of anything, really. I think bread would probably be fine. Let's take some bread and let's make uh, let's make some more bread. You can't make bread with bread, you silly. There we go. Twenty one bread should be should be plenty. And we'll put... Oh, that's our vault stuff chest. Uh, let's put uh, gubbins, gubbins, gubbins. Uh, we don't need the wool. Uh, let's see. We'll leave one potato at home. That can wait for us. Uh, we don't really need torches. Uh, we do need some sort of building block, though. What's going to be our signature building block? Ooh. What do we feel? What do we feel? It needs to be something different, something recognizable. Usually I'd go with unobtainium, but we haven't gotten, uh, we don't have any of that yet. You need to, you need to get that in a vault. Um, so for this first vault, what we'll do is we will, uh, we'll just take torches. We'll just do the old torch strat. Uh, where do we want our healing to be? There, I guess. Do we need more torches? I think that's probably it. Cool. All right. Now we need to, uh, we need to cook up some of this. How, how, what? What kind of shape do we want our vault portal to be? Let's see. Where do we want to put it? That's the big. That's the more important question. Do we want to put it down here? Who's opened my throne? Do not. Was this you, young man? Did you open my throne? Please don't do that again. My throne is closed at all times. Please, it ruins the illusion. Don't open that. Do you hear me? I'm watching you. Maybe we move this stuff and we just put it right here. Let's do that. That seems simple. That seems easy. I need to make an axe. Let's do that. All right, chest, prepare to meet your doom. Easy. Oh, that did a <laughs> nice and sweet kickflip, bro. Very cool. All right, the chest is gonna go right here. Sir? Sir, I need to, I need to, thank you. And then that can go there. And then, oh my God. And then, yeah, our throne. This is great. This is perfect. And then yeah, we'll we'll build the portal right here. Goodbye. Goodbye. S be, safe travels. Nice knowing you. Uh, I'm not sure if you need to cook the vault stone or not, but we're gonna cook it anyway because it looks better. Um, but that should be all we need to do. Then we just need to build a portal. It can be any size as long as it's bigger. Or at least the same size as a nether portal or bigger. There is a limit. You can't go too big. But uh, I'm not sure what the exact measurement is. But I think we'll just go for your standard regular size. Maybe, maybe a slight bit bigger. It might be a bit more square. I don't know. I don't know what shape we're going to go for. Let's wait for this to cook. And, uh, and then we'll go build our portal. Okay, 21 should be enough. Let's go. And uh, let's see what kind of shape we're going to get out of this. Uh, let's see. Bunk. Uh, sir... Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. Can you just scooch? Thanks. One, two, three, four. And then one, two. Sir. Truly. 
truly pardon me. Pardon me, my friend. Uh, boom, boom. Is that gonna be enough? I think if we go one more higher. The, 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 oh, right here. Bada boom, bada boom. Pardon me, stairs. Pardon me, stairs. Uh, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Now, it's kind of just a hole in the wall. <laughs> it's kind of just a hole in the wall. But you know what? It's our kind of just a hole in the wall. And I love it. Do we do we get rid of this door? I think we get rid of this door. Hi. I'm landscaping. I'm landscaping. I bought this place. I bought this... Uh, I bought this uh, uh, castle. It's mine. I uh, am redecorating. I'm remodeling. It's fine. It's fine. This isn't a uh, this isn't a doorway now. It's a solid wall. It's a solid wall. I don't. There won't be any questions about it. All right. I don't want to hear anything about it. It's a mostly, a mostly solid, a mostly solid wall. Uh, no, there's some steps. There could be some steps, like this. There we go. It's a mostly solid, mostly full wall. That doesn't look out of place at all. Ah, a rhyme. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. And look, we've got two leftover stairs. Sir? Sir, pardon me. Pardon me. Oh my goodness. We've got some stairs. Let's put those down. Right, there's. Uh, and uh, we'll, sure. Sure. Let's eat up. Um, okay, do we have anything else that we need to do? Why is right click opening my quest book every time? What have I done? What have I done? Let me check my keybinds. Uh, yeah, let me check my keybinds. One second. Many unbearable hours later. It's because, oh, because I have the quest book in my right hand. That's because, oh, that's why. You silly, you silly goose. Okay, <laughs> all right. Goodness me. I will, I will never admit to you guys how long I was looking at controls trying to figure that out. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. I won't tell. I won't tell how long it took me to figure that out. Uh, I was looking for the quest book, though, so that's good. Um, let's put that in there. Let's get a little organized here real quick. Uh, I grabbed some poppies uh, earlier in, uh, in one of the earlier episodes. Um, just so we can make a few extra of those potions. Um, that uh, require uh, that, that give you uh, extra uses after a certain amount of time instead of having to mob kill. Uh, we've got a mob kill one right now, so I think we're going to ditch that one. Uh, what did it take to make these? Because I want to make a poppy one real quick. Glass bottle and a chromatic iron. Easy peasy, beautiful cover cover buns. Uh, we need a poppy. We need a glass bottle. Just one. Thank you. And a chromatic iron. And if we do this, and a this, and a this, and a this, and we've got ourselves a potion. Uh, I don't know how this works. I'm going to take the axe with me. Uh, I don't know how this works. The potion. It's new to me. It's new. Uh, we're going to take the quest book with us. We've got some food so we can run around a bit. We've got our vault crystal so we can actually open our vault. Normally, I'd go in with a bit more uh, armor. In fact, because I fear, because I fear the vault, uh, we've got six diamonds. Do we have any more? Do we have any more? That more would be good. Okay, we've got six diamonds. Oh, we've got five iron. Do we have any more iron? More iron would also be good. Uh, I'm trying to build up some confidence now because we're about to do our first vault, and uh, I'm not super geared. I'm not super geared up. But it's all right. I'm excited. Um, do I have heal bound to a key? I do. Excellent. So we can heal, and we do have a potion. Um, we won't be able to regen health uh, without those two things. So we're set. We've got our shulker box, which is empty, so we can fill that up with loot once we get into the uh, into the vault. Our pickaxe might not be fast enough to destroy spawners, but I've heard that spawners. Uh, always break on their own unless it's in a dungeon so that's good news we don't need to worry too much about our pick being slow if that's the case we'll just avoid dungeons for now um all right well here we go let's do our first vault heck yeah this is exciting oh man three 
two, one, let's go. Huh? Huh? Hello? It, whoa. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm in the vault. Okay, it's loading. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Uh, you can see up at the top, we've got our goal. We've got to find two monoliths. Um, they're going to be hidden somewhere inside this vault. We've got ourselves a sand theme for the vault, which is going to be super cool. Down in the bottom left here, you can see we've got a time limit. So we've only got 24 minutes inside the vault. If we don't leave the vault or find those two monoliths and then leave the vault before that time is done, we die. Uh, dying in this new version of Vault Hunters isn't that bad. Um, if you die uh, before you hit level 20... Uh, you don't really lose much. You don't gain experience, but you keep everything that you found in the vault. You keep all your items, you keep all your loot, right up until level 20. After level 20, things get more interesting. Um, so, right now, we don't really have any abilities. We don't have the we don't have any vault gear, which is the biggest thing. We're not really equipped to take any damage from the enemies that are in the vaults right now. So our goal right now is to find some gear. Um, and uh, we also need to mark our way so we don't get, uh, we don't forget. Uh, our mini map is super important in this case. We're coming in from the south, so we know that our exit is the southernmost uh, most section of here. If we only go north from now on, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in a straight ass line right through. Um, so this is a series of big rooms connected by tunnels. There's a tunnel in each side, kind of like a cube. You know, everything every side has another way that you can go, uh, right up until it doesn't anymore. So you go through all of these floors. You find little sections like this. There's a spawner and some chests. Over there, there's a spawner and some chests. You go in, you kill everything, you loot the chests, uh, and uh, you try to win. Um, this is a monolith. So we found one of the two monoliths that we need to find already. If we give that a right click, bada bing, bada boom, we've got our first monolith down. Um, but there's also a spawner here and some chests. And I, listen, it's time to get looting, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna run through this thing. Let's see, we've got a, a vault man. They live in the vaults, they're spooky, scary. And we've got a creeper. All right, not so bad. So the spawners will spawn some enemies and then it'll destroy itself. So as long as you kill what the, what it spawns, you're good to go. So I'm just gonna loot everything, all right? It will take too long to explain what everything is. We'll go over it all later on, once we get out of the vault successfully. We've only got 22 minutes left in the vault, so we've got to we've got to make good use of our time. The monoliths can be anywhere in a room. You can go down, you can go up in a room. They're they're pretty big rooms. Um, but what's ex what's exciting about vault hunters is there is that is that there are secret rooms, there are rare rooms, there are hidden dungeons, there are uh, elite mobs that can spawn. There are so many different random things that can happen while you're in a vault, and it makes it super exciting. Ah, we've got a skeleton. Skelly, skelly man. Come here, sir. So, I'm picking up these purple purple gems off the ground. You see that? Those are the soul shards. We made the soul pouch for those earlier. We've got 45 soul shards right now, which is great. We can use that to buy stuff later on down the road. This is great. Look at all these chests. Oh, my goodness. And we're just going to take all of it. Because at this point in the game, anything you find in a vault has some use. Even the not super useful stuff, like sticks and stuff. I'll just save you time by just grabbing it all now. Um, this is another thing that we need to look out for. This stuff here. Oh. Mummies. It's the mummy staring Brendan Fraser. Fraser? Fraser. Uh, we've got a, we've got some Larimar right here. Hold on, I need to press one. This is Larimar ore. Look at that. So that's a very special gem that you can get in, in Vault Hunters. Uh, and I don't think we got any. Whenever you find a special ore like that, you have a chance to roll, I think it's one zero to six of that ore or something like that. I think they might all be different. So when I mine this Painite ore, I might get a bunch or I might get none at all. It is a gamble. I did get one that time though. A rare vault gem, Painite ore, hell yeah. I don't exactly know what it's for. I just know that those ores are super, are super valuable. Um, and this just here is uh, is regular vault stone. This is the stuff that we found underground in the overworld at one time. We were looking for it earlier, and now it's just everywhere in the vaults. So we don't really need to go looking for it again. But hidden underneath it is all those rare gems. We've got another one over there. What is this? Upaline. We've got more Larimar. 
Larimar is important early on, so I'm kind of sad that we're, we're, we're rolling zeros on that. We're not getting any, which is kind of unfortunate. I want some Larimar. Oh, we got some. Okay, how much did we get? We got one. All right. That'll do. This is also a very important one to get early on. Beniatite is the blue one. We want lots of that. We didn't get any of that. Oh, no. <laughs> we want that as much as we can, because uh, that's super useful for one of the early mods that we're going to get. Um, we want to level up inside of the vaults uh, so we can unlock mods. We want we want more mods to help us get through Vault Hunters. It, it's going to make things easier. It's going to automate some stuff for us. It's going to give us higher, uh, better gear. Uh, the, the extra mods that you unlock are the are the, are the whole goal of this mod is to, is to acquire uh, better mods so that you can do, do things better and easier and usually at much higher amounts. You, you don't want to be producing like you know, five sand an hour. You want to be producing, like, a gajillion. A gajillion sand an hour. And you want that for, like, a bunch of different items. So, you got to work towards production. We're going to try to make as much junk as possible. We're going to have so much junk in our trunks. Uh, let's get this. Boom. So, now we just need to leave. And we have successfully completed this vault. Um, you can complete vaults. You can survive vaults. And you can fail vaults. So when you complete a vault, that's when you complete the goal up at the top. If you survive a vault, that's if you leave before you complete that goal. Or you can fail. You can fail a vault, which means you die. Which is what almost just happened there. But hey, we got some more Laramar. So that's good news. Um, all right, we want to go north. We want to go north. We've got our monolith now. Don't need to worry. Uh, there is more ore here, though. We want ore. Ore is good. Or is good. Also, why is this man purple? Why are you purple, sir? Why are you so purple? Oh, this is this is like a big mine shaft. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! My legs. We've got scaffolding. Ugh. Let's grab some painite. Cool. Uh, and look, let's grab some painite. Cool. Um, and now this is why we brought a shulker box with us, because now we can stuff our entire inventory in there and now we've got a full new inventory to pick up all this item all this all this other stuff in here all right so we we've reached the end so we can't possibly go north anymore we could go we could go west we could go east oh no we can't <laughs> okay um if we go back one one room then we'd be able to go west and east again but this is this is an actual end this is this is like a the the, the very tip of a diamond kind of shape is is usually how the vaults look um, so let's have a quick look around in here. Let's see what we can find. We've only found wooden chests in this uh, in this dungeon so far. And a lot of ore. There's more ore over there, which is great. Let's grab that. Hello, mummy man. And Vaultman. How you, how you guys doing? Uh, Alright. Let's grab this. Let's see if there's anything hiding underneath it. Any more Beniatite? Any Ben? Ben, are you here? You didn't drown after all. You're here. In Vault Hunters. Excellent. All right. Uh, I kind of want a few more chests. <laughs> we might get some gear from uh, from our completion crate that we get for completing the vault, but uh, I was kind of hoping to find a little, like a little, uh, like a sword or something in a chest. Um, there are different types of chests that you can find. We've been finding wooden chests, which is the most common of the chests, but there are also living chests, which kind of have magical items in it. There are ornate chests that have gear and, and weapons in them. And then there are gilded chests that have like riches and gold and really important uh, items like that. Uh, so it's good to it's good to find the different types of chests. But so far we've only found wooden ones and more ore. Look at this. The game really wants us to have ore. These are these are pylons. I right clicked one earlier without explaining it. They just give you little buffs throughout the uh, throughout the vaults. This one will refill my mana. Sometimes they give you a little bit of regen. Sometimes they speed you up. Sometimes they just completely heal you. They do a variety of things. Usually all of it's good. So if you see one, they will help you out. They will help you out. We've got nine minutes left in the vault. We uh, we kind of ran through some of these rooms here. So let's have a quick little explore just to see what we can see. We don't want to stick around too long because like I said, we don't want to die. We don't want to run out of time and not realize it. Oh, hello. The mummy, Brendan, Brendan Fraser. How's it going? Oh, ow. 
Do a heal. Oh, we don't want to die. We don't get myrtled. Uh, oh my god. Good stuff. Good stuff. And you as well. Hello. Vaultman. How you doing? How you doing? Ah! It's fine. It's fine. Grabbing all this loot. Uh... Grabbing all of this loot, sorting it first. Okay, we can leave. We can leave this stuff behind. We'll 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 take the vault stone, just so we have it. Uh, but we'll leave the sand and stuff. We don't really need any of that. Okay, good. Good and groovy. Bat. I'm so good at this video game. I'm actually surprised I'm doing this well with just a diamond sword. I would have expected. To need quite a better sword than this, but here we are. Uh, I think as we level up, our vaults will get harder and harder, so maybe level one vaults are usually pretty easy, I would imagine. I uh, really hope we get some gear on that uh, on that completion crate. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, it's a baby! It's a child! Run! Run! Run away! Run away! Oh my god, they're terrifying. Children? No. No, he bit me, and now I'm sick. No! Stop! Not like this. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We've got to remember we've got potions. I forgot we had that. That's good. That's really good to have in a vault. Holy crap. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Got to watch out for those children, man. Oh, my God. Brutal. All right, let's 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 quickly grab some of this. We're really, we really don't mind fast enough to be doing this in this entire vault but again it's really important to have these ores so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna do it it's just fine especially if we get some some ben some ben beniatite that that would be really nice i don't think we did i think we got one or two. Oh, there we go did we get one did we go in there is it in the shulker no we haven't we haven't picked up a single beniatite that's really sad that makes me really sad inside. That makes my heart cry. That makes my heart weep. Hold me close, a tiny dance. Oh, we've almost left our shulker box behind. Uh, let's throw away some scaffolding. We don't need it. Give me back my shulker box. Brass lantern. I don't want to leave all my loot behind. Are you kidding me? Okay, I think it's time to leave. We've kind of filled up on loot. Uh, we, we had a bit of a scare there. And we still need to go south a good few rooms. So let's make our way down and out. And uh, and we'll say goodbye to our first vault. This was good. As, listen, we completed it and we didn't die. Good success. Great success. Or whatever. Is that Borat? I didn't, I've never seen Borat. My wife. I know that one. My wife. I'm not even I'm not even married. I don't have a wife. Oh, I can't wait to see what we get. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's some chests down here, man. Let's, let's grab these before we go. We've still got five minutes. Famous last words. Kill the creepers before they blow up the chests and <laughs> lose all the loot. That's never good. All right. Yoinks. Yoinks. Who's moaning up there? And uh, we don't need scaffolding. Yoinks. I think there's some over here as well. Five minutes. We still got time. We still got time. Chests. More loot. More loot. Who's moaning up there? Just going to quickly stuff some stuff into this. And uh, see if we can grab a few more chests real quick. I don't know where this other moaning is coming from. It's kind of worrying me. But it's alright. It's alright. Four and a half minutes left. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. It's all good. Let's not panic. Let's not panic. These are the unknown moaners. My favorite goth band of the 80s. The unknown moaners. Okay. Hello, skeletons. How you doing? Time You gotta die for me. Thank you. Die again. Die again. Thank you for your service. Uh, what did you have in here? Good. Good. I saw a good thing. I saw a good thing. We need to dump some stuff in here again. We're really filled up on loot. We should really... We should really leave. But we're, we're getting greedy. We're getting real greedy. We're grabbing everything. We're grabbing every dang thing. We're grabbing all that over there, too. Don't even worry about it. Wait, do you need sacrifices? Hold on, let's see. 
I need to kill three monsters in the range of this. Okay, there's plenty of monsters coming to kill me right now. So this is great. Perfectly timed. Holy cow. Okay. We got a God's blessing. I'll explain that later. <laughs> I'll explain that later. We got to loot and get out of here. We got three minutes. We only got three minutes to say to her. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm done. I'm done. Let's not panic. Let's not get too greedy. I don't know how many rooms there are left that we need to walk through. <laughs> I don't know how close we are. We might be fine. We'll see. I think we're pretty close. Holy cow. Where's that portal? All right, there's the portal. We were right next to it. Good. We were never in any danger after all. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Look at that. Completed our first vault. Uh, we mined 38 ores. We looted 30 chests. We unalived 47 uh, fellas. We dealt 660 damage. We took 10 damage. We had 2 minutes 40 seconds left. Very cool. Look at that. You love to see it. We had beginner's insurance, which means there are no trapped chests, which is great. That means we can't get poisoned. There's no mimics, essentially, is what it is. Uh, and if we died in the vault, we didn't we didn't lose anything, which is great. Shows you all the different chests that we got, all the different experience that you got from all the different ores that you mined, all the different experience from all the mobs. It's, it's a very detailed description of how your vault went. But most importantly, we leveled up. Fiddly diddly. Oh. Fiddly diddly diddly diddly. We actually leveled up twice. We're level three now. You can see in the top right, we've got three unspent skill points. So if we go up into our skills, we can start uh, leveling up some stuff in here now. So we can make our heal better. We can uh, we can go from healing two to healing three, which is a heart uh, yeah, which is a heart and a half. It costs more, but it cools down quicker. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get vein miner. This is an important one. It allows us to mine multiple blocks at once. We're gonna grab a uh, level one vein miner, and we're gonna lock into a specialty. Oh wait, no, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, it's different. Ah, it's been updated. Right, okay. So there used to be a, a, a thing that you could spec into called Fortune, which basically gave you an, a better chance of uh, mining mining uh, 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 higher drops from, from what you mined, essentially. So instead of all those zeros that we rolled on the Beniatite in the mine, in the vault, sorry, with Fortune on, we might have mined some more. But now we've got Finesse, uh, which will help your tools last longer or void which voids out any uh, any things that you that you mine uh, that aren't uh, special that aren't vault items so we're going to take regular uh, regular vein miner I guess we're not going to specialize anything into it and we're also going to take dash where's dash and I'll show you what dash does dash, dash is incredible um, and then we've got one more skill point to spend here actually um, and then what are we going to grab there's new ones that I've never seen like javelin we could have a javelin I don't know how that works, so I don't really want to test it out just yet. There's Shell. There's Mega Jump. There's a lot of stuff that I've, I've not tried out yet. Totem Rejuvenation. Uh, Smite. Taunt. Mana Shield. Summon Eternals. There's a whole farming section, but I, I've, I, I'm pretty sure that it's not very good. So I, I haven't bothered with the potato stuff. I'm not sure. Um, But again, I, I haven't done any research on any of this stuff yet. This is all new to me. So uh, we'll see. I think for now I'm gonna just level up. Um, uh, let's level up our heal. Although you know what, I'm gonna level up our vein miner instead, because we've got the potions now, and they they heal over time. We're back up to six charges, baby. It's like we didn't even go in there. All right. Well, next time I'm gonna show you guys what the heck all this stuff is that we got in the vault. We'll go over it. We'll set up another sorting system, and then guess what? We're going right back in again. we got to do another vault. This is crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.